friends, today we're going to be drawing a realistic gerbil. Hamster. Hamster. There's a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. you got a marker and some paper. They're both really cute. Yep. But they're different. Yeah. One has a tail. One has a fat. One has fat. <laughs> One's chubby. <laughs> One looks more like a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to say one has fat. One has fat. <laughs> <laughs> One is fat. One. <laughs> That one has fat. I think they both can be fat depending on how much food, how food much, they, how much lettuce they eat. <laughs> how much lettuce they eat. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and some paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's first draw our hamster's eyes and their little beady eyes. We're gonna draw a little oval Table's right here. Table's cold. Table's cold. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw another one over here. And I'm coloring them in, but I'm also leaving a little white inside so that his eyes look shiny. Nice. Okay, now down here, we're gonna leave, we're gonna draw his nose and it's gonna be a little U shape. Then we're gonna draw a little line down, turn it into a Y, and we're gonna draw his mouth. And we're gonna draw a curve that comes up and then it comes back down. Already starting to look like him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now right here, we're gonna draw his mouth open. I'm gonna draw another little U shape underneath. Okay, now let's draw his chin. We're gonna draw another U that comes underneath like this. And we're gonna draw his cheeks on each side. So we're gonna draw another curve that comes in like that and a curve that comes out on the other side. Oh, I can already tell he's gonna be super cute. Yours is gonna be chubby cheeked. Chubby! <laughs> Most important thing about a gerbil. <laughs> Rule number one. Always add chubbiness to your hamsters. Chubbiness. <laughs> Slash fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now up here, we're gonna draw the top of his head and we're gonna draw a straight line right between his eyes. So right above, right above his eyes. And we don't wanna draw it too long because we're gonna draw his cute little ears sticking out on each side. So over here, we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out. And then we're gonna draw a curve that comes back down. And we don't wanna to come too far. Okay, now we're gonna repeat those same steps over here. We're gonna draw a diagonal line up and we want it to be the same height. And then we're gonna curve back down just like we did on the other side. Okay, now inside each ear, we're gonna draw another line. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and it S curves. See how it curves one way and then back the other way? Yeah. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Curve one way and then back the other way. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna draw his body. So we're gonna draw a chubby line that comes down on each side. <laughs> Nice. Yours is going to be super chubby. Chubby. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw his body. We're going to draw a big U shape that comes down like this. Comes down, around, and then we're going to draw it back up and connect to the other side. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> Looks like a potato. <laughs> it does look like a, a cute potato. Yeah, with a face on it. <laughs> yeah, with a face. Okay, now let's draw his legs or his feet. So we're gonna draw another little bunch of fur right here on each side. I'm just gonna draw a little piece that comes out and then back in. For its little feet. Yeah, his little chubby legs. <laughs> he's gonna be sitting on his back legs and he's gonna be holding his front feet, front legs like, yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like that. Holding a marker. <laughs> okay, now on each side, we're just gonna draw two short lines, super short. We don't want to draw them long at all. Just coming out, just barely, yep. And then we're gonna draw a big curve that comes around and then back in for his feet. <laughs> Look like Q-tips. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> On each side. <laughs> I really like yours. <laughs> they look like they have human feet. Yeah, those are really big. <laughs> I like a human, human feet. feet. Yeah, we should we should just put socks on them. <laughs> yeah, just leave them like that. <laughs> leave them like socks. <laughs> no, we need to add toes. So on each foot, we're gonna draw two. Well, we can let's make them draw into a couple. Shoes. We're gonna draw. <laughs> I'm gonna draw four little curves for the toes on each foot. <laughs> yeah, you could One, two, draw little three, Nike four, swooshes five, on each side. <laughs> six. Whoa, that's too many toes. <laughs> It's all right. Needs to be even. Maybe <laughs> Thanks for making it even. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw his hands and we're gonna draw two up here right next to his mouth. So we're gonna draw kind of, they're like ovals or kind of like squares. We're just gonna go around. Yeah, and then we're gonna create another one right next to it. Now we need to draw the little fingers. So we're gonna draw 
however many lines you can fit in. Not too many though. <laughs> I'm gonna draw. They're I'm gonna box, draw. They're boxing three. gerbils. Yeah, they kind of look like they're getting ready to box. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta do the teeth. <laughs> now we need to draw his arms. So on each side, we're gonna draw a little curve that comes out of the top of each hand, and then on the bottom, I'm gonna draw another one that comes down on each side. There, we did it. All right, now, but except we're not finished, right? Yeah. We need to do one last thing. What is it? Color him. Yeah. You now he's gonna look way more realistic once we use our colored pencils to color him and shade him. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end we'll talk about all the different things that we did, including the colors that we used. Yes. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Now we got our colors picked out, and we're gonna use this light brown. Now before we fast forward, though, let's let's draw some lines on here for the pattern that we're gonna draw on his fur. So I'm gonna start right here on his cheek and we're gonna come down and then we're gonna come back up and then we're gonna draw this U shape that comes down underneath his nose. Then we're gonna draw another line that comes down and then connects to the cheek. Looks like a bat. Yeah, it kinda of does look like a bat. All right, so that's we're gonna leave the bottom part of this white and we're gonna color everything above that brown. But let's draw a few more lines. So we're gonna draw another line that comes out to the side. This is around his neck, so all that up, the upper part is gonna be with this light brown. Now we're gonna draw two more lines for the pattern that goes around his arms. So there's one line, and we're gonna do another line that comes down further, curve. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so it matches. One that comes up, and another one that comes further down. Now we're gonna color the top part brown, and also these two little stripes on the side brown. Now we're going to fast forward, but at the end we'll talk more about some of the other things that we do. Yeah. Alright dude, we did it! We finished coloring our hamsters. Don't you think they look so much better? Yeah. yeah, they look awesome. Now we used brown, or this kind of medium brown, and we also used black. And we used a light tan, pink, and gray for the shadow underneath our hamster. Now when we use our medium brown, we also use short strokes so that it looks like he has short fur. Yeah. Then we use black to add some shading around his hands and also around his face. Yeah. That makes him look more 3D. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your hamsters. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your chubby, cute little hamsters. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Chubby loaves of bread. Chubby loaves of bread. They're hamsters. They're bread. I thought they were potatoes with faces. The chubby loaves of... <laughs> Loaves of potatoes? I don't think so. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.